Well, welcome back. I'm here with just a great crew today. We're going to talk with Cassidy, this young lady here, Ruthella and Nicole from ATCA. Can you tell me what ATCA, that acronym stands for? It's Amador Tuolumne Community Action Agency. Mm -hmm. And they're our overseeing agency. We actually work for the community centers part of ATCA. Okay. So we are stationed primarily at the Upcountry Community Center. Okay. Wonderful. Yeah. And you have a great program going on here. I see all the cool school supplies. Yeah. yeah. Neat. We're um, working on, gosh, we've been doing the Backpack to School project since 2007. Okay. And it's a project to provide backpacks and school supplies to families who need that extra help. Mm -hmm. And this is completely community supported. Um, it's through the community donations of either supplies or monetary gifts to for us to go out and purchase that mm -hmm. we're able to help supply the families who are asking for assistance with this help. Yeah. Well, it's it's a huge expense. You know, my daughter was this age one time, and uh, usually the school would even give out a list of you know bring this to school with you on the first day, mm -hmm. and and it costs a lot of money. So it's really wonderful that Amador County has this type of service to provide for the families, um, especially in these times. You know, they're a lot harder than they were years ago. It is. It is really tough, and mm -hmm. this is. I would say this is a long-term investment for us as a community. Mm -hmm. This is a way for us as other community members to tell our kids, um, our neighbors, our friends, children that we really support them. We want them to do well in school. We want them to graduate high school. Absolutely. We want them to go on to a college or a trade school, and then bring that information and knowledge back to Amador County. Mm -hmm. So it's a long-term investment, but it's very worthwhile. And people can pick up gift certificates at Walmart, Staples, you know, wherever they'd like. Um, if, if they decide they'd rather do that versus money or, you know, doing the shopping for it. Sometimes it's hard for mm -hmm. people to get out. It so that's be. another great way to give. How do they get a hold of you when they want to donate? Well, they can call. Um, there's three main um, pickup locations. The Upcountry Community Center at 296-2785. Mm -hmm. Comanche Lake Community Center, 763-2794. And the Generation Life Church, which is 267, and I always forget the last four digits. Where's that located at? That's actually down behind the bowling alley. Oh, okay. Yes, so, yes, and that's, right. Yeah, that's one of our, those are our three pickup locations where families would pick up their backpacks. Mm -hmm. That's also where you can go to sponsor a student, or you can go to Walmart. Um, some of our smaller local businesses mm -hmm. um, are either collecting supplies, so you can uh, bring your items there, you can okay. pick up. This tag that Cassidy's got here. Let's see that. Okay. And this tag tells us that all of this that was donated by an individual is mm -hmm. going to go to the specific child who's a oh. girl going into 10th grade. That is so neat. Yeah. So then you know really what the needs are. 10th grade, you know, they probably need, oh, you know, let's say lined paper and they need graph paper for math and, you know, they want a cool looking backpack, maybe mm -hmm. maybe not the one with little animals on it. So it really gives you a good feel. Absolutely. And then you feel like you're actually donating to a person, not just a, a group, which is a group is fine, but you have that feel that you're going to really enrich someone's life. And that's what's wonderful about this program is um, we do keep names confidential, mm -hmm. but if you're sponsoring and you have one of these tags, right. um, this tells us exactly the number, this number turns into the name on a child on our spreadsheet. So uh -huh. we know that the items that this person is donated go specifically to the child that they're out shopping for. That's really neat because we, you know, we're going to go out and shop for our own kids anyways. Mm -hmm. We might as well bring this tag with us and then, you know, just put the supplies in a bag and then we can drop it off and make it easy. Absolutely. And then here is specific. It says, you know, the backpack, spiral bound notebooks, college paper. So you don't, you know, need to guess what people will need. It's really plain and simple here. So that is just a really neat thing. And a water bottle. Everybody needs a water bottle for school binders, mechanical pencils, pens, highlighters, um, graph paper. Mm -hmm. That was right on that one. Well, tell me what you have in here, sweetheart. Okay, so we have a water bottle so that way no kids get dehydrated. Ooh, ah. A um, really nice pencil box. Even I would like that. That's pretty That's fancy. Cute. Laura yes. Ashley, too. <laughs> wow. And then we have two folders, okay. purple and an orange one. Very pretty. Very nice. And then we don't forget the items out here and notebooks. Mm -hmm. Have to have those. And then three of the same other notebooks. Mm -hmm. And then you got highlighters, mm -hmm. mechanical pencils mm -hmm. with lead, mm -hmm. extra lead, pens, mm -hmm. colorful ones too. Yes. <laughs> Paper. 
clips. Oh, good. You always need and those. Erasers. Oh, and I go through those like crazy, a you lot. know. I'm a student too at the University of Phoenix, and so oh. to me, this is like, oh, awesome. Treasure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so for kids, I'm sure they love it even more because I'm excited about it. It is. And they've got mm -hmm. binders out here, mm -hmm. and got journals. Okay. And couple of other things that I have no clue what they are. Okay, so dividers for your binders and um, some ruled paper, which is good. Mm -hmm. And these composition books are used all the time. Well, I want to thank you for being on the show. What a fabulous time. It is so good to meet all of you. Thank and you. give me your phone number one more time. 296-2785. Be generous and donate. Thanks so much. Thank you. You're watching Amador County's local television network, TSPN. Experience the great outdoors of the